Alrighty, Epic Miners, we're going to make a quick five minute video, hopefully, on how to mine. Go to epic.tech, go to downloads, go down to the Windows Epic Miner. This is for Windows 10 uh, that I've got it working on anyway. I'm going to save that. Then, when you go into open folder, um, I've saved it a few times here. Go ahead and double click it, open it up, and extract all. Extract it to, um, I do mine to my desktop. I'm going to extract that to make a new folder and call it um, Epic 2 Test Video. Alrighty, then you can call it whatever, it's not really important there, but I'm going to put that extraction in that folder. And uh, when I open that up, it's going to um, have all the files for the server. And for the mining, we got the Epic Miner, we've got the Epic Node, and the Epic Wallet. It's important you do the uh, Epic Node first. That's going to create a directory for the rest of the stuff to go in. So when you do that, you, Windows may ask you, "Are you sure you want to do this?" Click yes because we know the people, we know that the publisher of this uh, is, is Epic, and we trust them to do that. So um, there we go. Now this is going to start synchronizing the blockchain. Right now we're picked to 13 beers. Um, and we're downloading the blockchain. And you can see this number here growing. It's slowly growing. It'll eventually grow, and this number will match this number. So that's when you know you're fully synchronized. Now, um, while that's working in the background, I'm going to go ahead and create a wallet. And uh, to do that, you'll click Epic Create. Go through the firewall stuff, the standard Windows stuff. You want to type a password. Do not forget this password. Um, and if you type the wrong one, it will not. I just did that. It's going to ask for it again. It didn't match. Confirm. Fat fingers here. Okay. Now, when you get to this point here, it says press any key to continue. Um, make sure you write down your, your um, recovery phrase. It's the most important thing in crypto. If you're new to crypto, anytime a wallet gives you a phrase or a pass key, always keep it. So you want to keep this code down here and um, write it down. Is the most secure way, but anybody who has this this co uh, key there, they can actually steal your money. So uh, if you're really smart, you can steal my test coins. Um, I will be really impressed. But uh, there it is. Um, save it. Save it in Notepad. Save it somewhere. Always uh, keep it. Okay. Now I'm gonna get rid of that. And um, once you create your wallet, you need to put it in listen mode. So to do that, you'll go through this process again. And notice you have to click here because it doesn't want to run it because it doesn't know what the publisher is. You type in your password, and now it's gonna do one more firewall thing. I always click allow always, and uh, now we're we're listening. You have to have the miner listening in order to get the coin there. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let this synchronize, and then we'll start the miner next. So I'll be right back. Okay, I think we've got the miner. I'm gonna open the, the miner back up here um, I got it synchronized so uh, let's go through here to the miner we've got to open the wallet back up to listen because I did close that down actually got to have the miner listening in the background this chain is synchronized so we got the height here and the, the height here match we've got 11 gears so everything's looking good there now let's start our miner double click on that and boom there we go one more process through the Windows thing there, and okay, it's it's mining. So give this a little second here to, to synchronize with the node, and you'll start seeing some hash per second. That's how much how many hashes we're mining at per second, depending on your computer, your processor. Will uh, it'll all vary on there. So then you can tweak some of the files in there as you get more advanced. I do want to show you where some files are at while this is synchronizing here. Um, one. There's a miner.toml file. Once you get more advanced, you want to change between algorithms. Um, first of all, download Notepad++. It's a very nice editor. It allows you to format it pretty well. Um, this is the file here. I'm not going to get real deep into that, but that's where it's at. There's some things in here that you can do down the road once you start mining to tweak it some. That's for another video. Close that back out of here. There is one other file that you'll be needing to look at. That's going to be in your C drive. So you go to your C drive and you go to your users. My computer, I'm logged in on Windows 10 now, is Paramount, Paramount, uh, Miner, 
Paraminer 117. Um, when you open the node, it creates this folder, .epic. That's where everything's housed at. Go to main there, you've got your wallet data, your chain data, um, and you have this epic server .toml file. So sometimes you'll, you, you'll see that being referenced. You can actually chain stuff in that too. So uh, I'm not going to get too much into that right now, but you can, uh, most everything in here is, is, is um, hashed out, meaning it's just a comment for the developers are giving us to let us know what they're doing. And uh, there's a lot of stuff in here. But you'll play around with uh, this as you get more advanced and tweaking the miner to get to mine different algorithms and such. Right now we're sticking strictly with uh, RandomX and CPU mining. Alrighty, um, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to let this thing synchronize a little bit and be right back. Okay, the miner finally started up and uh, synchronizing. You can see we're mining here at 583 hashes per second. It's not super fast, but hey, um, it's, it's a start. We are mining. Now, um, once you go into mining, there's some different things. You can check your wallet. You can do different things. So you can uh, get your wallet info. Um, I do have another wallet here, so I had some other coins already on the wallet. So once you check it, um, I'll show you how to do that real quick. This is just your main password you used whenever you started it up. So I've got some different coins confirmed in there. i got some more in, in progress that are waiting for additional confirmations and uh, so on. So there's pretty much the miner. Any questions, please check it out in the um, uh, Epic uh, post questions there. Thanks a lot, guys. Happy mining.